let me tell you about this golden mother -fucker. Hello, I think. Star Wars fans don't really like this dude, but they're underestimating him. C-3PO is actually a secret puppet master. How rude. For f**k's sake. This theory comes to us from Redditor AJ Niggles. Thanks, AJ Niggles. You're doing the Lord's work, dude. AJ thinks that C-3PO is the secret hero of Star Wars. Not because he destroys a Death Star or fires off a weapon. He's really not that kind of droid, let's be clear. C-3PO is crucial in so many moments in the series. Here he is persuading Luke to join the Rebellion, getting Han Solo to navigate the asteroid field. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is a problem. Never tell me the odds. And keeping these two from screwing up their mission with their damn horniness. I've isolated the reverse power flux coupling. Twice. Goodness. If you're not seeing it, it's because Threeps is that good. Throughout the Star Wars saga, C-3PO is controlling, influencing, and manipulating everyone around him. Not like a Sith, but a support operative there to help you succeed. The perfect protocol droid. Is there anything I might do to help? His protocol being survival of the Republic. C-3PO knows what you need before even you do, and he'll help you get it. By any means necessary. He's a true hustler. He's constantly reading the room, looking around, seeing where everybody's at. R2-D2, where are you? I'm judging their reactions, asking them how they feel. His biggest fear, being unable to help. I feel so helpless. He may be a robot, but he's also an agent. And any good covert op must be skilled in the art of subterfuge. C-3PO uses manipulation tactics like interruption. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Overreacting. <laughs> incremental response. Selling past the sale. And above all, deflection. Don't blame me. I'm an interpreter. According to AJ Nichols, C-3PO has, quote, mastered the art of injecting just the right line at the right time to achieve the optimal shift in mood. He tells people what they need to hear. You know that it's scrap pile? Early on, C-3PO sees Luke as an antsy kid in need of a good adventure. He could be the Rebellion's newest recruit, but he needs to test the waters first, see where the boys' allegiances lie. So he throws out this ditty. Sometimes I'm amazed we're in as good condition as we are. What, with the Rebellion and all? You know of the Rebellion against the Empire? It's exactly the jumping off point Luke needs to get pumped, and 3PO smartly backs off afterward, letting Luke's need for adventure push him to the next step. But most of the time, it's not enough to deflect. He's not only dealing with words, he's dealing with emotions and egos. Sir, might I suggest that you... Sometimes the best way to move others forward is at his own expense. You might think 3PO is saying the wrong thing at the wrong time because he's an idiot. Sir, sir, might I suggest... Shut him up or shut him down. But he's actually making a calculated choice after sorting through millions of options. When he yells at Han Solo about his landing plan, Captain Solo, this time you've gone too far. He's not criticizing him. 3PO actually likes the plan. But thanks to his observations of Leia and Han, he also knows Solo is stubborn and does better when he has to prove someone wrong. Surrender is a perfectly acceptable alternative in extreme circumstances. The Empire may be gracious enough. Thank you. So if C-3PO doubts him, Solo is gonna get pissed. He's gonna dig in deeper, do better, keeping all of them alive. Sometimes I just don't understand human behavior. In Revenge of the Sith, only C-3PO gets his memory wiped. Not R2-D2. Why is that? Have protocol droids mind wiped. What? In the official novel, it's because 3PO loudly tells R2-D2 in front of everybody that he knows exactly where they hid Luke and Leia. That might sound like another bad decision, but it's not an accident. 3PO knows that Anakin, now Darth Vader, is the man who built him. Anakin could pry info out of 3PO that would endanger the Republic. If 3PO tells Senator Organa that, they might keep his memory intact, or worse, dissect him to learn more about the enemy. His best option is to simply forget. 3PO is not the kind of droid to forget his objective, keeping the Republic alive. So when he went to work for Captain Antilles and the Rebellion, he continued to serve his purpose, even if his memory was a little rough around the edges. How did we get into this mess? Most of C-3PO's deeds go unrewarded, because that's his job. He's not the hero. He's the one making sure the heroes win. Why I should stick my neck out for you is quite beyond my capacity.
And that is why this shiny robot is the most important character in Star Wars. Fight me on it.